<laughs> he seems very familiar with this mother. <laughs> I'm going to pop some handcuffs on here. Yeah, all right. Uh, it's fair, but it was a tangerine. No one was looking. Uh, uh, how old is he? He's eight. Is that years or asbos? Asbos, right, okay. Okay. Are you sure you want me to put this poor little boy through this torture for your entertainment? Yes! Mum's yes. everyone, yes. Okay. Hands behind your back then, young man. Okay, here we go. Pop that one on there. Now, they need to be tight enough so they don't come off, but not so tight they hurt, okay? Say yes, officer. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you're going to be amazing, it's okay. Now, you've got your handcuffs on, lovely. And what I want you to do for me, very, very carefully, I'm just going to pull the bag up round you a little bit. Kneel down for me. Just kneel down very carefully. Lovely, lovely. Get off the bag. <laughs> lovely, okay. And what I'm going to do is shut this up over your head like this. You hold still. And this time I'm going to put a little, there's a little change. I'm going to put a little slip knot in. It's only a very basic slip knot. And all you've got to do is pull on the end of the rope and it should come undone for you. Okay, should. Pop your head down for me, just nice and gently. Okay. And can we start the escape, please? Okay. Now, the idea is very simple. Harry Houdini originally performed this in three minutes. My great-grandfather beat him by doing it in two minutes. And the idea is there were a lot more chains when they did it. This is going to be a very, very simple version of this escape. Once again, you've given permission. He's in the box. And you know we're going to take good care of him. If anything goes wrong, I will get him out in a heartbeat. If he's still got a heartbeat. Okay. Okay. He'll be absolutely fine. Don't forget, Harry Houdini and my great grandfather were skilled magicians. This is just a little boy. He's never done anything quite like this before, and will probably never again. Or he'll get the magic frog and he'll be doing he'll be tying himself with bed veggies for wheat. Right, I hope you're doing alright in there, mate. All you need to do is uh, get hold of the handcuffs, you'll find a little button on the side of the handcuff. If you push the button, it'll pop open. Push the button, not that button, not that button, no, 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 no. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, ignore the boy in the box. Bear in mind, he's never done anything like this before. Please don't ruin it for me. All you need to do is press the buttons on the handcuffs, and they'll just pop off, they're not real handcuffs. Then reach through the little hole, pull the rope inside, and if you pull the rope, the slip knot will pop out. Okay? If you can pull the rope, it should just pop open. Once you've got the rope to pop open, all you need to do then is climb out of the bag, pull it over you, and once you've got it over you, then you need to push up on the lid. So you should be round about there now. Can you push up on the push up on the lid for me? Oh no, there's a chain holding the lid. Don't put let go of the chain. Let go of the chain. Child who is Houdini, let go of the chain. Kidding me! <laughs> Can we stop the music, please? Are you alright in there? I'm hearing chains, I'm not hearing it. We're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way, excuse me. Let's do it Harry Houdini style. Ladies and gentlemen, from the back of the room, please welcome the great Kidini! Making his way down through the room now, down through the middle, nice and casual as you like. Come on down through. Let him through, let him through. Up here on the stage, my friends. Right there. You remember that bow we rehearsed? Give it a hand.